Hi Rars, today we are going to be taking on the King's Gambit um, and refuting and destroying it in the way only I can. So what you can do if you want to learn this is actually you can go to this website called Chessable and basically it's pretty easy to just learn your openings like this and you know generally everyone's memory is terrible but luckily space repetition can sort of defend against you know the loss of your brains. So I usually use this op website and this course is a pretty good one. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at how to refute the King's Gambit with knight f3 and move 3. So let's take a look at this, and yeah, all of you tell me how great of an idea this is. Okay, so the King's Gambit starts e4, e5, f4, and it used to be really popular, but basically all you want to do is remember you take the pawn, and if knight f3, the key move to remember is knight f6. There used to be other moves played, but they're not very good, and they're just too confusing. But this is the thing to remember, knight f3, knight f6, and suddenly they just have no plans. Because they play e5, you just put your knight in h5, and you defend the pawn that way. So, okay, d4, now I have to remember if I, I don't know if I remembered all the theory, I think it's d6. And then g6... No. Okay. So yeah, sometimes they tell me I'm wrong, but don't worry about that. Um, okay. What is the move now? It, it's really confusing, this repertoire. Okay. Ah, whatever. Um, so that's one line. Knight c3. So tomorrow I have to take the queen h4. All right. Reasonable enough. Um, so as you can see, this is why, I, even if I've reviewed the opening like three times, I still forget it. Um, my brain is terrible at chess. So... Well, let's go on to the next variation. And so I got, this is actually, like the, this is the third time I've ever seen this in my life. And I still cannot remember any of it. So, okay, d4, d6, as we saw. So knight's three, now we remember that the move's actually d takes e5. Bishop b5, check. I mean, I assume I just, he's just wasting time. What? Okay, I'm just going to take free pawns. Yay. Um, I mean, I assume it's this. I'm wondering if there's, like, some weird trap. Um. I mean, I guess I could play this, but it seems sort of unnecessary. Oh, come on. Like, why would I need to play that move? Whatever. Oh, this is just chessable. Um, I guess you got to live and learn how confusing this website is. So I think I should just develop. Um, I mean, I could take it. I don't think I will. Okay, there we go. Uh, I guess castle queenside. Yeah, there we go. All right, so he wanted, they wanted the material back, but I should be better in this position. Um, now what? It's like queen b4 maybe? No, that's too aggressive. Um, yeah, so you can see here, this course is extremely in-depth, and these lines are just impossible to remember. Um, ah, this, is, this is just annoying. Um, I don't think I should take, though. Ah, it just looks so aggressive and strange. Ah, I'll just take anyways. It is queen b4. Okay. Whoops. Um, I guess I can take it. And then, I don't know, this move. Blah. Man, so basically, yeah, this is one of the critical lines, apparently. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, if your opponent happens to remember all these moves, then don't blame me if you end up losing anyways. Um... Okay, yeah, this is just so confusing. Like, who would ever need to see this move? This is just impossible. But whatever. That's that's what chess is all about. That's sort of why they teach you this, because they know you won't remember the moves yourself. So what they do is they purposely give you challenging moves, so that way you'll have to pay them to remember them. Um, so basically, if there was an easy solution, they wouldn't tell you, because then they would be out of the, they would be out of money, right? And they wouldn't be able to get rich. So they purposely make it complicated. Sort of like the whole education system. So... Yeah, I don't know why I'm still doing this course after I said that, but whatever. Let's go on to the next variation. Let's hope there's at least... Can I get one variation where I get every single move correct? Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Shot number three. So d6, okay. So I know d5 is po a possibility, but supposedly not the best move. Ah, oh, come on. d takes e5. Well, I already can't do it now. Um, I remember I looked at this before. And the knights attacked. But I think what the discoveries weren't dangerous. So there was like some really crazy move here. Oh yeah, it's this. And then there's no dangerous discoveries somehow. No wait, there obviously is dangerous discoveries. Um I don't know. Yay, it was correct for once. 
So I guess this might actually be easy. No, it's not easy. It's just so funny. It's just like random squares. Like, how am I supposed to know where to put my pieces? Um, let's see. So I think I want to castle queenside here. So let's play this move. Oh, wait, then knight d5. I'll just stop knight d5. Okay. Ah, oh, man. They just keep threatening more stuff. No wonder people play this garbage opening. So I was thinking if I castled and he took my bishop. I don't think that's good. Um, my golly, this is weird. Um, I don't know, like king f8? Oh my goodness. That was annoying. I actually did pretty well there, but I still got too many moves wrong. So as you can see here, yeah, the king's gambit is super confusing. These lines are just like some of the weirdest openings. This is probably why people play the King's Gambit, because the way to refute it is extremely complicated. But, okay, d4, d6, and then, yeah, remember queen here you actually take, which is ridiculous, but apparently it's good. And then, bishop e7, okay, queen g4. This one's the weird move, king f8. And then you're better, so that's, yep, that's another variation. Well, it's, okay, the goal is to see if I can get one variant where I can actually get all these moves correct. I mean, d6, queen e2, d takes e5, um, queen h4. Bishop e7, right? That's the move, right? Okay. So again, he threatens to go here. Do I need to stop it this time or not? Um, ah, great. I already know I'm going to fail. I mean, why am I even trying? So if I go here now, it looks like it defends everything, but I think you do that. Actually, that's sort of annoying. Let's just stop it anyways. Nope. So I had to play that to stop knight f6. It says laugh at the king in d1, but I don't know. I think they're just laughing at me. So, okay. Knight f6, and then I protect d5, and then I win. Um, whatever, let's keep on going. Surely there can be one variation that I actually memorized. Okay, keep going. d6 takes. Check. Bishop e Oh, what? Oh, great. Now it got even more confusing. Um, knight takes, I assume? I need to play that so I can attack this queen. Okay. That doesn't seem very strong. Can I just do this and like defend everything? The problem is maybe the move is bishop e7, so I can brilliantly take this rook. I mean, chessful is always giving me the weirdest moves. So honestly, that's probably the correct choice. Okay, if I, I'm going to be so mad if that's wrong. Because if they take, I just take the rook, right? I mean, knight f5 is just too passive. Please. Yes, I finally got an entire variation right. And that makes sense, right? I'm just going to take this rook, and then they just lose all their pieces. So... That was great. Um, but for those of you that are just commenting here to steal all my money, um, comment, Joseph is the king of the king's gambit, because that's obviously what you all think. Um, let's do a couple more, and you can learn more refutations. Um, yeah, there's like 29 variations here, so if I'm lucky, I memorize like three of them. So there'll be a lot more, you know, more endless hours trying to figure this opening out. Okay, so I remember here, though, I believe it's you take the rook, and you just figure out that there's no actual good discoveries. Okay, I actually remember this line pretty well. It's bishop d6, allowing the discoveries, and then what's next? Um, I don't even think this move's good, but I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Is it king d8? And then you take an f7. Um, what if it's bishop d6, e6? I think so. And then captures. Let's hope. Yes, okay. So maybe now, um, yeah, I don't know. What's the material count anyways? Okay, so I think we're down a piece. That's not good. Um, my golly, why is it always so confusing? But d5 is not a threat, so let's just attack this pawn on d4. Oh, come on. It wanted me to do that first. All these brilliancies. All right, so I was actually pretty close to getting that one. Um, as you mentioned, yeah, so knight c6 and... Oh, I win the knight back, and then you're up a lot of pawns. All right, so let's go to the next one. Yeah, look, this is variation number 13, so bad luck automatically. You can be sure I'm going to mess up this one. Um, okay, check again. Takes, takes. This should be six. Yeah, this is like the critical variation that is just the worst variation also. Um, is it castles yet? Because I think it was castles, right? And then bishop h3 to try to... Uh, Save the queen. And yeah, I remember you don't take the knight. I think you don't take it. What do you do, though? Is it like taking like this? Oh, my goodness. I think it's take f4 first. Okay. So I think it might be taking, but not immediately, because then I would lose. 
they do that. And if I do this, there's no way that works either. So I think maybe I just take this. No! All right, get yeah, develop first. All right. Knight d7, queen h5. Um, okay, at what point can I just steal that piece? Okay, knight f6. Wow, um, just giving up the queen. Interesting. And threatening everything, as usual. Um, aren't I up my material or not? Yeah, I think I am. No, maybe I'm not. I think I am. Oh, come on. It's also good for me, but it didn't work anyways. All right. So I don't want to take that. I want to take it now. Wow, this is such a long variation. Um, there's like some saying, yeah, long variation, wrong variation. That's definitely true here. Um, okay, what is the, so it's like one more move. And if I get this move correct, I'm the winner. Um, I don't know, like queen f3, I can just attack stuff, I don't know. And no skill move. Oh wow, it actually worked, okay. So we need the, the thing I forgot here, what did I forget again? Oh yeah, knight d7, okay. Knight d7, don't take the queen, retreat instead, and then, yeah, all right. So I think that's going to be it for this video. This is just some boring chessboard lines, but I felt the need to, you know, do something new because we always find something new to do or something like that. Um, but all right, I'll, I guess I should also share more details about our upcoming events. So for those of you loyal rars that love playing chess, which is hopefully a lot of you, um, here is our upcoming event. Be sure to join it. Um, celebrate the 10,000 rars and just join the group. Get all your friends in here if you have any. And... Yeah, we're going to go really far. I mean, I guarantee it. This is this is a just the start of the movement now. And remember, remind all your friends, the earlier you join, the better it will be for them because the more rewards they'll get and the more power they will have. Again, if you join late, you're just going to be at the bottom of the hierarchy. So hopefully you guys are all smart enough to believe what I'm saying. And yeah, see you in the next video.